you guys and welcome to my channel if you guys are new we are heading over now to the renovation property which if you guys are new you probably don't know we've been working on this for about six weeks but it's like literally completely done and I'm so excited to show you um, there's a ton of great like features in the house and it actually started out looking like absolutely terrible but I'm gonna show you guys from start to finish like just the whole process of how it looked before <laughs> like literally blue carpet green cabinets like just gross and I'm gonna show you guys the after now which it looks so nice literally my husband and I thought about like moving into it ourselves because it's literally that nice so I'm gonna head over now um, while I drive over there I'm gonna give you guys just some like videos from like as we were doing the whole process because I want you to get a true feel of like how it looked before you see what it looks like now I'm so excited to show you like I I've been holding this in for so long because it's just isn't such a big project. Um, my husband did all the work with one other person. So literally um, two people did pretty much everything. They did have someone put in the backsplash in the kitchen just because they were like running short on time and they really wanted to get it done in six weeks. And then they also had someone do um, the central heating and air. So there wasn't central heating and air and they had someone come in and like do all that. Whoa, okay. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to show you. We're gonna head over there now, and while I drive over there, you guys are gonna be able to see how it used to look. So, buckle off your seatbelts, friends. It looked pretty terrible, so I know you're gonna be really surprised by the time that we get to the actual house, and you see what it looks like inside. Hello, you guys. It is the 19th of uh, November, and I want to give you guys an update on the renovation property. I have not done anything up to this point, so um, the guys have been working on stuff. I'm going to show you guys the rooms. Uh, they've done a lot of work just in like a couple days. I'm so proud of them. Like it looks like, I mean, they're getting a lot of work done, but we really want to have this done by January, so um, they're working hard. It is very cold in here because the contractors were supposed to have the heat on in three days, and this is day nine I think but um, I think some of the days they weren't able to make it over and I'm gonna show you guys the rooms um, so this is that's them like hammering away but this is what the living room looks like right now um, there's a lot of carpet that's up on most of it but over here the carpet's not up because they have all their stuff here the people who are adding in central heating and air and then I'll walk this way um, they added in the furnace right here but they haven't like hooked it all up yet you can see down there this is like not hooked up that's not hooked up but they at least added in the new furnace and then they took out all the carpet here and then um they took out the carpet in here and this is just like brady and jay they've been like killing it it's so cold in here though right now and they took out the carpet in this room and then they also took out the carpet in this room and they also took off all the doors Let's go into the other room. They've done the most work probably in this room. Uh, you can see stuff's just like lying around. This is the extra room where they've done most of the work. And everything is like coming along pretty quickly. You're fine, you can, you can hammer away. Brady has his hat backwards, so that's when you know he means business. He's like, Ash Ketchum reincarnate. <laughs> they took out the carpet in here and then they also took off the paneling. You guys can kind of see it up here. Um, and that's what they're taking off right now. It is, what time is it? Like seven o'clock? Yeah. And they'll probably be here until like maybe eight or nine. They've been working away. They um, weren't sure if they would have to like drywall everything in here or not. And then whenever they pulled up the wall, they actually saw that there was drywall already. So that worked out well for them. Um, so they don't have to like do anything extra to try to like um, get the new, like get everything updated in there. They don't have to like try to drywall it themselves. So that's kind of the update so far. Um, I'm sure I'll give you guys more updates as today's going. All right, guys, I wanna give you a little update of this room. It is, it is the 5th. Um, it's December 5th 
and um, I was just asking them what the date was and they didn't know, it's fifth. Um, this is the living room right now, all the carpets up, um, they primed, well, have you guys primed the wall or not in here? Not in there. Um, they primed most of the walls in here and um, all the cabinets are ready to be painted and the doors are off, which is pretty cool. And then um, this bathroom is absolutely torn apart. You guys haven't seen this. Um, we're gonna completely redo this little area, which is nice because it looks bad. And then <laughs> this room <laughs> probably has the most update um, since I showed you guys anything. The walls are like nice and white, ready to be painted. They're primed right now. And then um, they're gonna put baseboards down there. They took up that ugly blue carpet, which is nice. I mean, you can just see there's a huge difference in like how it looks now in comparison to like a couple weeks ago, just from the paint and like pulling up the carpet. So is there anything else that you guys have updated in here? I haven't seen. Um, I mean, we're Get everything primed and all the light fixtures are done. Oh yeah, um, you guys haven't seen the light fixtures. We're gonna put in new light fixtures, more like modern looking, I think. So yeah, I think that's pretty much, yeah, last mix, mix match. And then there's gonna be a new light fixture in here too, which I'm excited because I get to help pick it out. So yeah, that's kind of um, all the rooms. We haven't really done much in here. Um, there's a little bit that's been done. Everything's primed, ready to be painted. Um, and here they're painting, what are these? For what? These? For, their, for the cabinets, the bottom. Oh, okay, for the kitchen cabinets. Primed. Cool. Um, and then uh, these are some of the carpet squares that we're looking at. We're thinking about this one, it's really soft. Um, and then we're gonna use like gray on the walls. Which one are you gonna use? The... Uh, we're taking the lighter side. The top one? Maybe not, that's almost too metallic, but uh -huh. lighter like that. This one, maybe? Something in between. Something in there. Yeah. I like these, these look really nice. You can actually see the difference a lot better on camera, um, the difference in the color. So yeah, these are some of the options for paint, and then um, we're gonna use one of these carpet squares. This one has a little too much like orange in there, so we really like that, but it's, it is really soft. This is what I mean about like, when you have options for, like a house and like changing stuff. There's so many options. This one, I really liked this color. Um, I thought it was really nice, but it feels like not as comfortable. It feels like it's just gonna kind of come apart. And then this one right over here, it has um, like darker tones. So I'm not like a huge fan of it. There's like black in there. I just think it'll make like the floor look a little too dark. And we're thinking maybe going with this one. It's really, really thick. Um, it is a little dark, but I think that that'll look nice in contrast with um, the paint color that we end up picking out. So that's kind of the update there. And you guys know we're gonna be doing gray walls and stuff. So yeah, um, that's the update so far. What is this? Paint sprayer. Ooh, yeah, 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 okay. So we got this paint sprayer. If you guys are painting anything, you guys should definitely get one of these because they've painted stuff and it's just two of them and they painted stuff so fast just using this. How do you use it? You like, like there's so many different <laughs> compartments. These go into the paint, those two. Uh-huh. Okay, this is- Into the paint buckets? Be, yeah, this is supposed to be drained. So it's a five gallon, you, there's a five gallon bucket of paint. So okay. So you put it in the bucket and then it'll suck up the paint. And it comes out through here? Then it comes out through here, which you spray. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Cool, we've never used that before, so we like it. Well, we meaning them, because yeah. I haven't painted anything. <laughs> like, what is this? Yeah, <laughs> this looks like a contraption, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think that's um, all of the updates. I will keep you guys updated if anything else gets added or taken out. Hey guys, it is December 16th and a lot has been done in the renovation property. So I'm just gonna give you an update. Um, it's, it's a lot different. We still have a long way to go, but I'm really excited about it. As you guys can see, this is white behind me and this is actually the accent wall in the living room. So let me turn this around so I can show you guys like literally how this living room looks. 
it's absolutely insane. This is the living room and you guys can see they have done a lot of painting and it's gray um, and they still need to add baseboards like right there but we've taken out the little area that was for um, the like heating system and so now there's central heating and air which is fan freaking tastic. Um, I just am really, really liking this room. I feel like it looks so much better with the gray and the white. And this window, honestly, I feel like it pops so much more now that the walls are gray. It just looks, I don't know, it just looks really, really cute. This over here is the accent wall. When you first walk in the door, um, I think it looks so nice and it's just a nice contrast between um, the other part of the living room. And then when you walk down this way, I'm gonna show you guys the bedrooms. Um, we've just started, well, we meaning them because I've literally done nothing. Um, but <laughs> they painted all the walls, they're gray, and you guys can see they painted this as well, which is white. Um, I think it makes the hallway look so much bigger and brighter. They've also painted um, most of the window trim, which you guys can see it makes such a huge difference in the room. I think it just makes it look more updated. And they also painted these doors right here too. And then when you walk into, I mean, just looking at this, it's so much brighter in comparison to how it was, um, just with the white and the gray. This is um, another room that's pretty identical to the other rooms, but you guys can just see like the difference is just massive it looks so modern and new they still need to um do this part up there and just like finish out the rest of the gray but i really think that these closet doors look so much better white um and then they also painted these doors so this just gives you an idea if you guys are trying to do your own renovation you're thinking about like getting new doors literally just changing um the color of the door and then changing the hardware on the door makes a huge huge difference and then this room is roughly the same as the other ones they're still working on the window trim here uh, but this you can see like how different these windows look just with this um, white trim and then this is the other closet here now i'm going to take you guys into the kitchen which i think is probably the biggest change so far when you walk around this corner you just instantly walk into like bright i mean obviously there's light in here but um a big part of this room looking so bright is because of the paint on the cabinets i think it just makes such a huge difference if you look up close um they changed the hardware on the cabinets which i think makes such a big difference um it's very new and sleek and we picked these out and then um these were the old green cabinets i don't know if you guys remember those but literally they were disgusting and now they look so good um we were trying to decide if um, we wanted to keep these or these cabinets or not and i'm really glad that we did um i think that this on here like the lines is just so unique and these are really great cabinets so we really wanted to keep them i think adding new hardware on here made a huge difference and it looks so so good um you guys can see down there it's about the same we still have to add on um the countertops which those are gonna be new and the backsplash which um we picked out and we love um this over here is also a huge change these doors used to be green and um they're painted now white which also makes a huge difference as I'm sure you guys can tell. Um, but just like stepping back and looking at this, like holy cow, this looks so modern, so new. Um, I think it's just great. They're still working on um, the trim up there, but they've done like a really good job getting everything pretty much painted. Um, in this bathroom, they still have some work to do as you guys can see, but they got started on, um, doing the shower um down there uh it's like white and we're gonna like completely change this and you guys will see the difference whenever we like really get um working in here but i think that that's like a good start so far and then in here i think i've already shown this to you guys how it looks um but in here it's just the white walls still um these haven't been painted gray because they're waiting um on the ceiling to dry um but another thing that I don't think I have shown you guys. Let's see if this will focus here. Something I don't think I've shown you is this um, little window right here. So this is where the AC unit was and we just added a new window and I think it makes 
a big difference. You guys can see that they still need to paint these windows, but um, they've already started on painting the beams up there. They still need to add in um, the outside of the beams, which they took off to paint, um, but they started like priming everything pretty much. The whole room's like primed, it just needs to be painted gray so i think they've made huge progress and as i said it's literally december 16th and they're just moving right along so i'll keep you guys updated on all the rooms so you guys can see all of the changes it's december 20th and i want to give you guys a quick update i know this is all included in one long video but for me just to like break things up i want to tell you guys the date so you guys can kind of know like how fast they've been able to get all this stuff done. Um, the flooring is in. They brought all of it pretty much in um, and it just has to be placed in on the floor, but it's not in yet. And the biggest change is the kitchen and the kitchen looks really, really good. Um, you look behind me it's like light and bright and like I just I'm obsessed with it um, what I want to show you first before I like really show you the kitchen is the backsplash just so you can get an idea of like what um, it'll look like whenever it's actually on this is what it looks like um, and it'll look really really nice whenever it's on uh, I'm gonna hold it up just so you guys can see and have a nice idea but these are the countertops I think they look great and they added in the floor as well which is amazing they've gotten this done so fast um this is the other side and they'll also add the backsplash over here too i don't know if i let you guys know but they painted these and then they just changed the hardware so they didn't add new cabinets or anything but the flooring and the countertops the colors and all of it just make this room look so much brighter than it was um so this is the full room and then in this room they have completed the ceiling which is like a huge feat but they made it look easy somehow um it's really nice and bright um it had like those squares and stuff on it which those aren't there anymore um and everything just looks really really good and seamless really new and modern and then um they're working on getting the full walls like completely painted but they've started it so you guys can see because i think the last time i showed you guys in here the walls were white and they were just primed and now it's like pretty much completely painted they just have a couple more coats but I mean, this makes such a huge difference in how the room looks. And then um, in here, Jay's, he's laying the floor. Do you feel like laying the floor is hard or not really? What? Do you feel like laying the floor is hard or not no, really? No, it's not too bad. That's good. <laughs> um, it doesn't look too terrible, but this is um, the floor that we picked up. We got this actually at Menards. Um, and then the uh, wall is also gray in here. Still have to work on the shower and um yeah it's just the same floors out here any tips that you can give so far <laughs> no tips to you don't cut off any fingers yeah good call <laughs> and then out here um we're gonna add another light fixture that's gonna be like a really cool one i have to still pick that out so i'll keep you guys updated on what that is i'm sure you'll see it in this video and then this um room is also gonna have a really cool light fixture in here as well because i feel like that'll just make it look really new and modern even more than it already looks right now so um you guys will obviously see probably within the next clip how this kitchen is completely like finished or closer to being done um Ju the last clip that I showed you I think was Thursday and today is Sunday so you can see they've just made so much progress even just adding the floor totally changes how it looks in comparison to when I literally just showed you guys um so paint can do a huge thing along with like flooring but um when you walk down the wall this is or wow when you walk down the hallway this is painted um i think i showed you guys this um but they also painted these doors and they painted this little closet area and they still have to add in the carpet over there they haven't added that in yet but they will so um that's just the next thing on the list and adding in like small light fixtures which they've already purchased they have to put them in still and that's the last of it so i'll see you guys in the next clip um i obviously haven't seen what it looks like but i'm sure it's gonna look really really great i just got into the house you can see it's very echoey and that's because just because there's literally nothing in here um this house i can't remember if i told you guys but it's sold already so 
kind of crazy. Like our first flip literally was done in six weeks and sold in literally seven days. So I'm really excited to show you guys. I apologize for the echo, but there's nothing in here. And um, I wanna show you guys before like, you know, they take the house and we can't get into it anymore because it'll be there. So I'm gonna show you guys the living room first. It is um, January and I'm honestly surprised that like it feels so weird to like be showing this to you guys and be like done with it just because there's so much like time put into finishing this and I feel like if you're working on a reno or thinking about a reno it really like it just takes so much of your time that it just almost becomes like a part of your routine. So like there were so many nights Brady came over here. I like I'd come over and like sit and hang with him like while he was working on stuff and playing music and it's just weird. So let me show you guys the living room. I'm really excited to show you all. Okay, so this is the living room. It's so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys just some B-roll so you guys can get a good idea of how it actually looks. But it turned out so 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 well it's so crazy how much flooring and painting can totally change just how something looks um so you guys will notice from like how the how it used to look um the living room used to have like something all on the floor where it was just like not cute like it was not um, central heating and air and it just I felt looked a little dated um, and then they ended up adding central heating and air so they had someone take out that like long like heating system on the floor um, along with that they completely changed the floors and that was a huge process for us because we had to like go and pick up um, like all kinds of furniture or not furniture all kinds of materials and i'll link the video below where we actually did that um we went to a warehouse in jacksonville and got everything at a discounted price which was really nice um and then they also painted the um brick wall which i think looks really really good um i was a little worried because initially we wanted to paint it gray and then brady was just like just painted it white and he was like, I think it'll look better. And he's so right. The white looks a lot better because the floors are gray, the walls are like a gray tone. So adding in the white just really balances out the room and makes it look really light and airy. Um, and then we got the little light fixture just from, um, I think it was from Menards and it was really inexpensive and it just makes a statement when you first walk into the room. Um, I feel like, anyone who comes in here that's the first thing that you focus on and i feel like it's just a nice little addition to the room so um let's head into the kitchen i think the kitchen might be my favorite room in the entire house this next room i'm excited to show you is the kitchen it's so pretty like i just i feel like the backsplash is so my vibe and we actually we're kind of on the fence about this backsplash because it was a little bit more expensive than like other things that we could have used but we actually ended up getting this backsplash from that warehouse that i mentioned um in jacksonville and i will link the video below from the vlog where we picked up everything but it was just such a great like I don't know, a good deal, but also just a great addition. I felt like the first thing that people would be drawn to would be the backsplash in the kitchen. Um, I will say the guys were really nervous when we were working on the house. They were like, oh my gosh, there's too much white in the kitchen. Like we have white countertops, we have white cabinets, we have white backsplash, it's gonna be too much. And I knew that it would all fit together really well because not only was it white, which I don't think we could personally really have too much white, but, um, the way I feel like you want to have white in your kitchen is with different like patterns. And so um, even though the counters are white and um, the cabinets are white and the backsplash is white, it's all different like texture or de different patterns and it looks really different. So I felt like it really blended together seamlessly. Um, I really, really liked it and I'm just glad that we ended up picking it. I feel like this is one of my favorite places because I feel like who doesn't love a good white kitchen um, and along with that there's also a bathroom that's right off the kitchen and you guys can see how different it looks from whenever we first like got this bathroom um, it was just a mess and we actually ended up having someone um, come in and 
like just fix up what was already in the shower so in the shower we kept the exact same tile and they just like refaced it and it looks so much better gray versus like that gross yellow um and then the guys did everything else um they took out the flooring added in new flooring in here added new countertops um we did get i think the same person who re um like finish the tile in the bathroom. They also um, did the backsplash just because we were running short on time. So just a great kitchen and a great bathroom. And I think that it looks really good. Um, I also love that they put all these like tile throughout the kitchen and all the bathrooms. Um, so yeah, let's get into the little den area. Um, this is another great area that I feel like any family would want to have in their house. This area is the den area. The sun went down, but you can see that there's lots of windows in this room and I think it just looks so amazing. Um, I also like that it's definitely connected to the kitchen, which I think is great for moms. If they're wanting to like be involved and they decide they want this to be like a little playroom or just like a gathering area you're not completely separated from the family um, or like the dad if they're in the kitchen they can still be connected to the family if they're in this room which i think is just like so nice um this room we use a different light picture than in the like front area just because it is more of a den so if my like, kids are in here throwing stuff around or if let's say um two couples just got it and they didn't have kids and they want to have friends over and they're like kind of rowdy we wanted it to be a place where like you could just have fun and not really have to worry um i will say the beams in here that the guys had to like refinish were quite the task um thankfully they knew what they were doing but i definitely would have felt a little stressed working on it um they didn't do too much in here just change the flooring they changed the paint on the walls um they also refinished those um beams and then the windows they added um like a thicker like trim on the outside of the window which i think makes a big difference um and that's really it and it's crazy this room looks so different you guys know that it had the blue carpet which that just had to go um but i they were actually debating whether they should keep the beams or not i'm glad that they kept them i think that they are a great addition in here and kind of add just some like good history and good bones to this space so i'm now in the hallway and i feel like it's a little less echoey over here i mean it still is but it's a little bit less because there's carpet there's carpet in all the bedrooms they are all identical but i'm still going to take you guys through just with the b-roll um they added the new carpet in here and I think it looks really good and they also added um, just like paint for the doors and paint for just all the like baseboard and trimming um, and then they um, painted let's see what else they did I think that's all they actually painted maybe they painted the ceiling um, and then they also like did the trim and they um, took out the flooring in the closets and actually added in the like gray flooring because they wanted someone to be able to like put things in there and not have to worry about like vacuuming carpets if you have like your shoes and stuff in there. I know sometimes that can be a pain in my house so that's something we definitely thought about. Um, I just really like how all these rooms are just nice and cozy. I think they're a good size. Um, there's three bedrooms obviously all identical. We left them that way on purpose just because we wanted just the families to be able to not have to like argue or if they're like roommates they don't have to argue about like the spaces because they're literally all the same size um i really like the bathroom we didn't really have to change much with that either um the bathroom we literally just changed the flooring and then we painted the walls and that's it we left everything else and i think it looks really really good all right guys that's it for this video we didn't end up changing the garage we didn't change the backyard either but i will say we have tons of other renovation products coming. Um, I actually asked Brady, I texted him before I came over here. I was like, hey, do you want to come to the video? And he's actually like working to put in an offer on another house so we can renovate it. Um, and this is even bigger and better. So we're crossing our fingers that we get this one. Um, but we also have a, it's a six unit or an eight unit um, apartment complex. And then we also have a another house um which we're just going to do like a couple things on the other house um but we have a lot of renovation products coming so if this is the first time you guys have come to this channel this will not be the last time we renovated anything we literally got all three of these properties within like the apartment complex and this house 
um, and the other house that we were talking about, or that I talked about, literally within the past couple months, and we're like looking to get another one as well. So if you guys want to see more renovations, then definitely hang out here or head over to my Instagram because I also share all my stories. Um, I usually share like what house we got or what house like we're selling or whatever, um, just so people can kind of know what's coming. So if you want to see, if you want to see what's coming, head over there, and then if you want to like just see like from start to finish then just hang out here so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more renovation videos let us know in the comments um if you guys are new welcome if you're old <laughs> welcome back i put up videos on tuesdays thursdays and saturdays so literally i'm here all the time <laughs> so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video there's lots of echo But um, we're definitely excited for the next um, renovation, next flip. And we actually planned on renting this one out and we ended up selling it because it looks as nice as it does. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know when the next one's coming. <laughs> Bye guys.